Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feed video of the Jordan 1 Flights. Um, i show you guys this is the black box that they come in with the white Jumpman on the top. And of course you have the black Jumpman logo on the back. I'll show you guys the tag here. This is a size 9.5 Jordan 1 Flight and the official colorway is black, white, photo blue and cement gray. Pretty sharp colorway, one of the newer colorways. And just keep in mind this is a general release from Jordan. Not one of the retros, and it's one of the more affordable versions as well, retailing at $100 US. So uh, it's not like some of the Jordans that retail for around $200 or more. These ones are fairly affordable, and they're available in tons of different colors. This is, like I said, one of the newer colorways, but if you do want to see more of the other colors, or even some detailed images of this particular shoe, there will be a link down below in the description to the review page on my website. So you go ahead and check that out if that does interest you. As far as this shoe is concerned, um, I like the simple design on here, and I was a big fan of this particular colorway, simply because of this gray cement pattern on the shoe. I really like this design from Jordan, and uh, it's it's very subtle on this particular shoe as far as how much of it is included, but I like the overall look of the shoe, and uh, like I said, it's fairly affordable. And if you just want a pair of Jordans but don't want to spend a ton of money, this is definitely a good shoe to take a look at. Lots of details on here and the quality is pretty good as well. As far as the design on the shoe is concerned, you have a predominantly black upper in this black leather material. Again, the quality is half decent on here for what you're paying. Um, so black is predominant color here. You have these little blue accents on these kind of lace holes and the stitching is all in blue as well. Blue liner and then you have this little blue on the back. In, in these little square details and the 23 in blue as well. Um, obviously the rest of the shoe you're going to have a white midsole on here with the black sole on the bottom and then you have uh, Jordan here on the tongue on the top, top of the toe sorry in white and then you have this cement pattern it kind of looks like this crackled material and uh, this is a new buck finish on here so it really does look sharp feels nice and soft good quality um, and overall, I like the overall appearance of this shoe. You can see you have a new buck tongue in black as well with the Jordan Jumpman in white, which is stitched onto the shoe, which really does look nice. And of course, the tongue is actually nice and thickly padded as well. But as far as the design is concerned, I really like these little kind of uh, extra tabs they put here for the lace holes. I suppose you definitely could lace them up a little bit differently if you could. All of these are open. At least the first three are cut out and open. You could put laces through. So if you want to lace them even further down uh, the shoe, you definitely could do that. Then of course you have these little square uh, lace holes at the top as well. I like the idea of having a square lace hole as opposed to just a cutout in the shoe. Really does look sharp. Of course you do have the white jump man and basically this plastic material on the outside of both shoes as well with nothing on the inside. It's left completely plain. You have this black stitch going around the white midsole as well. And of course this is the high top version. There's a high version which is what you see here and then there is also a low version of this particular shoe as well which I'm sure you guys could imagine it. Basically it cuts off right about here and it looks like this shoe just without being too so high up. This back part you see here has these little square details as well just like you're going to find on the front and these are these little plastic square elements and then you have the Jordan kind of in this new buck material as well in the blue which again looks really sharp. I like the blue stitching all the way around as far as details are concerned and that's pretty Pretty much it. As far as what you're gonna get on the bottom, you have the Nike logo in the middle, and then you have a sole that looks very much like the Air Force Ones or even some of the Nike Dunks. Um, it's a classic sole that you're gonna see from Jordan brand. And uh, overall, this is more a casual shoe, definitely designed for casual wear and not for actually playing basketball in. So like I said, if you want something that's a little bit more affordable, this is something to take a look at. Other than that, guys, that's it for the unboxing portion, and we'll move on to show you guys what they look like on feet. All right guys, well here's a look at the Jordan 1 Flight with a pair of shorts on. Very cool looking shoes that are designed to wear casually. I have one with the laces tied up fairly low and they're tied behind the actual tongue so you can't see the knot. And then on the left foot I have laces tied up a little bit higher with the knot in front. I'm not sure how uh, you guys would probably wear them. I'd probably wear them with the laces tucked behind, but let me know what you guys think. As far as wearing these with a pair of shorts, they look really good. They're high top sneakers and they're made to wear casually. They have that simple design and of course, the cement pattern on here I think is really cool looking as well. Like I mentioned earlier, give you a quick close up look on these. Really good quality and the overall design I think is really simple and pretty good looking to wear casually. Um, again, for a pair of Jordans, you really can't go wrong for $100 US retail. That's pretty much it as far as what they look like with shorts on. I'm going to give you a quick look of them with some pants on. Alright guys, well here's what the Jordan 1 flights look like with a pair of jeans on. 
very cool. They look really good with a pair of blue jeans or some darker colored jeans in my opinion. That black and gray really does set off and then the little blue accents look really good as well. As far as sizing and comfort is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size 9.5 US in this particular shoe and the fit is perfect. Although I have to say they're a little bit snugger than usual so just keep that in mind. Um, if you do want them to fit a little bit bigger, go half size up. Other than that, they definitely do fit true to size, just a little bit snug in the length. Other than that, that's pretty much what they look like. I'll give you the full tour of these shoes. Again, they look really good. Let me know your opinion on them in the comments, and uh, I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, well, that's it for my review plus on feed video of the Jordan 1 Flight. Again, it's not necessarily a highly collectible shoe, but it is a very affordable pair of shoes. So for that $100 retail price, if you do really do want a pair of Jordans that still look really good, like this particular shoe does, um, it definitely is an option to you. If you would like more information on the shoe, feel free to go ahead and check out the link down below in the description to the review page on my website, where again, you're gonna find the high quality pictures of this particular shoe, as well as buy it now links for all the different colorways that are available, because there are definitely quite a few. Other than that, guys, let me know what you guys think about this particular shoe. Do you like it? Are there other Jordan shoes that you prefer more? Leave a comment down below letting me know if there's any other Jordans you guys even want to see that I could potentially bring in. Like I said, just leave a comment letting me know. And if you could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated as well. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.